You are welcome in this video. Today we will see some examples based on trapezium, isosceles trapezium and their properties. Now you are well acquainted with the definition of trapezium and isosceles trapezium. Then let us play a game. Where do you see trapezium in this house? Pause the video and try. Well done. You recognized absolutely right. In this house, we can see trapezium in table, table lamp, lock and pot. Let us now look at some examples based on properties of a trapezium. Can you find the value of x in this trapezium? In the previous video, we learned that the sum of adjacent angles on a side in a pair of non-parallel sides of a trapezium is 180 degrees. Can this property of trapezium help you find the value of x? Yes, this property of trapezium can help us find the value of x. Let's see how. We can say with the help of this property that the sum of angle S and angle R will be 180 degrees. From the question we know the value of angle S which is 60 degrees. Thus, we can say that the sum of X and 60 degree will be 180 degrees. On solving this, we get the value of X as 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, 120 degrees. Let us see another example. Can you find the value of angle A in this trapezium? Pause the video and try. Let us find the value of angle A. By trapezium properties, we know that the sum of two adjacent angles formed on each non-parallel side of any trapezium is 180 degrees. We can see from the question that the given trapezium is an isosceles trapezium. Now because we have been given the value of angle C, 115 degrees in the question, value of angle B e will be 180 degrees minus 115 degrees that is 65 degrees and we learned in the previous video that in an isosceles trapezium the adjacent angles formed on a side in a pair of parallel sides are always congruent hence value of angle A and angle B e will be equal from this, we can say that the value of angle A will also be 65 degrees. Today, with the help of some examples, we understood about trapezium, isosceles trapezium and their properties.